grow up. Yo, wait, son. What's good, my nigga? Welcome yo, to the Bell's Back Factory, my nigga. Yeah, it's shaking, man. Okay, now you good. Get your shit in, yeah. Nah, yeah, we're shaking, man. We in the building, man. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? good looking, good looking, man. It's been a long time coming, cuz. That's a fact. I had to get that out there. Good joint interview. But now, you feel me? At first, I want to just get your story, your backstory. You feel me? How you grew up. What was it like? Like, you feel me? So, let the people know, like, nigga, like, where you grew up at? You know what I'm saying? I, I was born and raised, man, in Springfield, Mass. You know what I'm saying? Wild city, small city. Low uh -huh. I don't know what I'm saying? Real dangerous. You get crazy. It's, it's a good part just like every other city, major city. You know what I mean? So, but it get litty, though. You know what I mean? So, so I was born and raised. You know what I'm saying? Good family, good background. You know what okay. I'm saying? But I made a decision to jump into the streets. You know what I'm saying? Consciously. Didn't need to. Didn't have to. Wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you say you come from a good family and shit. Yeah, so absolutely. Have, so what was like? What was that like for you? Like you had brothers and sisters, mom, dad, like everybody. Everybody was there. Still okay. here now today. You know what I mean? So yeah. holding it down, support from every direction. Always had the support. You know what I'm saying? Always had the love. Solid foundation. Foundation always been solid. All right. So um, you said you made a conscious decision to jump into the streets or whatever. Did you, did uh, where did that influence come from? I mean, a lot of my influence. Came from my brother, older brother. So you had a brother that was kind of involved. Already too? in street, yeah, already involved. So you was looking at that like, yeah, yeah like, like me, it's, a little it's, it's like it's this is going down. I mean, this is happening. I'm saying, like, I was young, bro, like bored. I'm saying, searching for the action, man. Young yeah. man looking for that, get get that, get that release of that adrenaline, that testosterone, bro. Yeah. And my only was the streets. Some people choose boxing, wrestling, karate. My shit was the streets, bro. You ain't never played. You was never no like sports. Nigga. Hell no, hell no. Hey, you like no. six two. I hell know. No, yeah, I know you no. got a jumper on you. Yeah, bro. jump on niggas' heads. Bro. Hey, yo, my boy, my boy. <laughs> yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah, so you was never into the sports yeah. or nothing? That nah, never piqued your interest. Nah, man. I'm like, man. I like honestly, man. I like nature, bro. I like to be outside, bro. Okay. That interests me, and I'm saying being on the land. You know what I mean? When so, did you discover that? What you mean? When did you discover, like, you fuck with outside? Because a lot of niggas... Even as a kid, bro, you yeah. know what I'm saying? My mother used to you know, do sports a lot. My mother was into that, so I'm always out there in the woods or whatever. I'm okay. by myself. I go take that ride with her. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm out there. I'm running around, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. When did you... When, did, when would you say you really got involved into the street shit, though? Because niggas know, if people don't know, you uh, just came home from a 10-year bid. 12. 12. Oh, my fault. 12. Yeah, I need, yeah, I need that. I need that, too. I did that. Yeah. yeah I need that, too, man. I did that. Yeah, I did that, too. I did that. That's just count it out. Every yeah. second of that. Yeah. So, um, you feel me? Usually, I don't be asking niggas about the, about the street shit or nothing, though. But Fact you feel me? Since you just came home from your bed, I feel like it's important to your story. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big part of the story. If not, yeah. about the whole story. You feel me? Yeah, definitely. You feel me? Absolutely. So, um, so what, what age would you say you jumped off the porch initially? I can say I was in the streets since I was 13, but I can't say, like, really involved, like, really, like, knee deep in the shit, yeah. like, like, 16. 16? Yeah, 16. So, where, where it's, like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's starting to get crazy. Yeah. He said, we moving up. We advancing up now. Okay, now, so what was school like for you? Was you... School was good, man. I was good at school, You was, man. You was smart, nigga? Yeah, smart dude, bro. Okay, okay. 3.8 average, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Take it light, bro. You know but, what I mean, um, but yeah, like school was good, man. That's where the bitches was at. Bro. Nah, that's, a, that's definitely yeah, back in the day. Be in school, you gotta be in school. Yeah. I mean, so. But education is very important. Bro. But in, in school, did, were you like were you getting in trouble? Was that was that following you to nah, school type shit? Nah, my, my my trouble was always out of school, man. Okay, so you was active outside type shit. Yeah, outside of school, man. Uh, school time was school time. Man. Yeah. So, everything out of school, that's where the action was at, bro. Yeah. Did you end up graduating? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I was in juvie a lot. I was in that juvie a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, and there, you know, they, they do your credits a little different, so your shits get boosted up. You know yeah. what I mean? I came home, was able to get my high school diploma. Okay. I ain't make it to the stage, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm saying, called the case. Still though. got my shit. I'm still certified, so skin thin on that. Yeah, don't know where you got it from. Yeah, it don't even matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. So, yeah. right. Whatever, though. Right, right. Nah, that's that's definitely why I'm interesting. Um, so you say you you uh, you went to juvie a lot when you were a kid or whatever. Right? Yeah. Like, how was it? Was do you feel like like that was traumatic type shit? Do you think that shit changed you? It definitely because changed who I am today. I know the streets is its own animal, and prison is a whole totally different thing. Yeah, yeah, it's two different, different things. Happy, it's yeah, two yeah, different, different things, things going on. on. So, definitely is. So do you think like uh, like the 
like Juvie changed you for real? It changed me in the sense of me not respecting the system. Mm. Cause when I was in Juvie, bro, Fuck, nigga. it was yeah. niggas was doing what we nah, wanted, bro. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, we was doing nice. what we wanted, bro. We ain't smoking weed, we ain't drinking liquor, ordering food, fighting, beating niggas up, bro, getting in the shit. Yeah, getting crazy. I wasn't respecting it, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit fucks the little niggas' heads up, bro. Cause you go in there, think it's just a game, bro. Yeah. That's just not a game, bro. You turn into a dub, bro. That like, you go to. Real jail, bro. Real prison, bro. That's just totally not. Different? Bro, that's just a whole different ball game. Bro. All right, so, so <laughs> let, let me, 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 the 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 chances of that the, the, the chances of that happening is always there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The probability is ninety percent, brother. You in the streets. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, know you know what you sign up for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know what's there. That you know what you're getting into. So it's a reality every day. But it's not gonna stop what niggas is doing. Yeah. Niggas Brothers already in the motion. Everybody don't know that coming with it, right? Niggas that's fake out here, like in the juvie, they thinking they really gonna beat the system and shit, right? Nah, niggas ain't beating no system, bro. Yeah. yeah. Niggas start telling shit. But you, shit. you, you gotta think, nigga, like, how, how did you really feel when you were like 17, 16? You probably thought you was maybe smarter than this. You know, some niggas think they can all smart the system. Some niggas think they might never get, or it might be a one time thing when they get caught. You heard? Yeah, nah, man. I, I done been through that too many times. I done caught it two, three, two. Before I was 18, I was in it two, three times, nigga. I ain't even fucked. Nigga, do you, you, feel, like, do you yeah. feel like when you go to prison, it's easier to keep going to prison type shit? Man, it depends on the individual, brother. Okay. And I done seen it in multiple types. Like, you got dudes that go to prison, bro, sit in there and take the time and analyze, you know what I'm saying? Get their mind right, get their body right, get their spirit right. Yeah. You got dudes going there straight waste their time. Niggas is smoking weed all day, niggas doing drugs. Niggas, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas fighting all day, nigga. It's a balance, man. You gotta create a balance, bro. Yeah. Like, it's all in the individual and what you want, what you expect out of life, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, so niggas jump straight from juvie. Okay, now, um, when you go to prison as an adult, is this the long stretch? This is, yeah, this is the stretch, bro. That's yeah, the stretch? Yeah, right, straight so, from... So your first adult time was real time. Yeah, you? bro, it wasn't no game first adult you charge, no, bro. a year and a half. And nah, brother, it's straight, straight 12 piece, brother, all the way. Ain't no breaks on this. Okay, so... Ain't no tapping out, bro. Ain't no stepping out, bro. I'm, I'm gonna leave for the week and come back. Like the mob, okay. Nigga, here all day, all nigga. night, nigga, right, in the so cage, nigga. Go, nigga. Mob, nigga. First, first, night, yeah, nigga. first night you get locked in or whatever, right? For the, for the for the for the case for the case for the smack I ain't even for, for no the case. Now you, we're not talking about sentencing. I'm talking right, about okay. first night that niggas just come bag you or whatever. Do you feel like All right, I'm finna be in here for a minute? Or you feel I'm like right, I'm, I'm finna beat this bitch? This nigga, it's going down, man. Kick them, kick them shoes off, nigga. Put them feet up, nigga. Okay, it's, about be, it's, about be, it's about to be ride. It's about to be bumpy ride on this all shit. Right, all right. So you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's Rocky about to get greasy, it. man. It's yeah. about to get greasy. Shit wasn't looking good, baby. Okay. She's like, I already knew what time it was. That's what I'm saying, though. That's what you kick off with the mentality, bro. Everybody don't have the mentality. That's why you get motherfuckers that tell. Yeah. You get motherfuckers that's too sneaky, weird shit. Yeah. Because niggas, niggas, niggas morals ain't there, brother. When you enter the streets, brother, it's a code that's already in the streets. It's a code of ethics, bro, that everybody don't follow, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when you get into that type of shit, nigga, it's like, nigga, I, I signed up for this, bro. I got to do this time, bro, no matter what it is. Niggas got to hold it down, bro. Yeah, nah, that's true, you feel me? And I, I, I feel like if you're a young nigga listen to this and you decide to be in the streets, you, you got to accept that. Yeah, you got it. You got to accept that. That's, that's point one before you even step off the porch. That's even before you even get into the gang shit, right. before you get into the mob shit, any of that shit. As a man, bro, you got to accept responsibility. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to take accountability for what it is, you know what I'm saying? All right, so, all right, so niggas, first day in prison, you already, you kicking your feet up, you getting ready for the for the long ride or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Uh, how is it for you? Because it's your first, you've been to Juvie. Juvie, yeah, yeah. That, that, so that was that, but then you get to, you get, get to, to the county Lolo. first, you go to yeah. county first. You, go, you hit Lolo real quick. County, what, yeah. what was like, what was that for you? The county, the county be turned up, man. Okay. I went in there, yeah, the county be turned up, bro. So I went in there and I'm saying, like I said, it's different. It's not Juvie, bro. Like, you got to go in there and I'm like, saying. Like, what's the main difference? Brother, number one, bro, for me, brother, you're paying for everything, brother. Nothing free. Yeah. <laughs> you're, paying, you're paying for everything, brother. Yeah, phone no. call, you're paying for food, you're paying for a visit. No, we, no, we can for, with the game. Yeah, brother, not, you're not, we're not no, hanging out. Bro, bro, we're not hanging out on the PS4 nah. all night eating pizza, brother. Nah, they're not on that. Yeah, the brother, they got this slop coming in at 7.30, brother. If you ain't got no soups, no meat sticks, chili, rice. Yeah. 
cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in for you to drink that water, boy. <laughs> you better go to sleep early, get to the morning breakfast, oatmeal, oatmeal and cake, nigga. Bad? Brother, niggas in the living raw, brother. Oh, man. Shirts, dirty holes in it. <laughs> brother, niggas in there living yo, fine, yo, bro. Keep the G, keep the G.